So this is the age of smartphone, smart card, right? Smart city, smart village. But ISKCON's mission is to create smart souls. So anyone who takes to the process of Krishna consciousness comes under the category of being smart soul. Everyone seems very happy saying that. <laughs> so therefore, it's interesting that the word smart has an interesting uh, etymology, origin. Initially, the word smart was used with the meaning of being painful. It was supposed to be painful, you know, smarting pain, as they say, painful. So, that was considered to be the original meaning. Then there is a term in English which is called homonym. Homonym means the same word, same letter, same pronunciation has different meanings. Right? So then over a period of time, the meaning of the term changed and it became, it, it began to be used from the perspective of, you know, being very intelligent. So from painful it became thoughtful as an adjective. What a smart idea. And then somewhere along the line someone started using it with the perspective of looking beautiful also. What a smart kurta. <laughs> what a smart attire. So beautiful. So the journey of the word itself has gone from being initially painful to thoughtful to beautiful. And that's how the journey of the conditioned soul in the material world must also become. That the journey of the soul in the material world is initially painful and by coming in the association of devotees gradually we should go on the platform of becoming thoughtful and then when we experience Krishna consciousness the experience is beautiful so therefore Srimad Bhagavatam has created this facility by which we can experience the beauty of Krishna consciousness <laughs>